Like, have you ever watched Donald Trump? Like, he literally gets up there and says anything. He'll be like, oh, you know, uh, I do well. Uh, you know, the polls, are, the polls are great. I do well with everything. You know, it's huge. Everything I do is huge. You know, it's like, two Corinthians, two Corinthians, two Corinthians. Donald, you've got to – this is huge, huge. You've got to remember, too. And he got up there and was like, two Corinthians, right, right? That, that's, the, that's the Bible phrase, right? It's huge to you people, right? Two Corinthians, four and 37. It's going to be huge, people. Two Corinthians. They built a wall. It came down. And you know that they're like, oh, my God, he's so amazing. He knows the Bible. Like, I saw a guy um, it, within my complex with the Make America Great Again hat on. And he was talking, like, don't don't speak my way because I think that you're <laughs> stupid automatically. Um I don't automatically assume that you're racist, but I do automatically assume you're stupid. I do. You might as well. Um, for, why, how could you not be a racist? You're an anti-Semite. You're anti-Muslim. You're a racist. There's no way you could possibly support Donald Trump and not be all three of those things. You clearly hate America. You hate anything that's African-American. You hate anything that's Hispanic. You hate anything Muslim. You hate anything that might be a Jew. You're an anti-Semite. You're a bigot. You're a racist. You're a white supremacist. And you're probably stupid, and you probably married your cousin. Go ahead and punch him in the face. I'll pay the legal fees, knock him out, clock him. You know, back in the old days, we used to rough him up. And then, like, not even a week later, you're like, oh, violence? Oh, please. What do you mean violence? I don't like anything like that. I'm not paying any legal fees. I don't like violence. I don't condone violence. I mean, that's what you're telling me. You're telling me I don't condone violence. So, of course, I don't condone violence. I'm telling the world I don't condone violence. It's However, I don't know... I, I don't really know who David Duke is, so I'm going to hold off on disavowing him because I really don't know who he is because, you know, we, we don't want to jump, you know, to any conclusions about who this man is. And I don't know what this organization that he was a part of. I certainly don't know it. But those Muslims, those Muslims have got to go. I've never liked them. I don't like them. We're going to blow them all away with bullets <laughs> dipped in pig blood. And those goddamn Syrians, they have to go. I've never seen them. I don't like refugees. You blacks are a wreck. You all have to go. Oh, but by the way, my numbers in Ohio are huge. My numbers are so huge in Ohio. You've never seen it. I'm doing great things. And Mexico is certainly going to build that wall because I don't like Mexicans and they need to pay for what I don't like. Are you stupid, boy? No, as far as, as far as you the numbers. And, and the people that you like and that like you are ridiculous. You all are the people that need to get on a spaceship and be sent away somewhere to like Pluto where nobody can hear from you. Nobody needs to speak of you. Nobody needs to hear anything from you. You all need a planet to yourself so that you can kill each other, marry each other because that's what you're doing down in Richmond, Virginia anyway, marrying all your cousins. What does the number 51 represent um, for for the debates last night? What, what number is, is that, you know, what, what has to do with that number? How high we're building the wall, 51,000 feet, <laughs> huge, completely huge. 51 was the amount of times that Donald Trump ended up interrupting Hillary Clinton um, oh, wow. during last night's Ooh. debate. Uh, the number 12, what does number 12 represent in last night's debates? Is How it? many Mexicans went back home last night? Huge, completely <laughs> huge numbers, huge. I'm telling you, it's all huge. Um, it's time Donald Trump said uh, wrong during the debate. Um, and that would be 12 times. Um, the number 18, um, <laughs> Bill? The oh, number sorry, 18 is the amount of blacks that are voting for me. I do well <laughs> in that community. It's huge. <laughs> um, it was actually the number of times Barack Obama's name was used in the debate, even though that he seems on his way out, seems like he's still a big focal point. And last but not least, um, the biggest number of the night, 94,749. What's this the amount of Syrians no. that cannot come into this country because it's ours and we're taking it back. Huge numbers. 94 million of them. We're keeping them <laughs> out. Huge. Uh, actually, no. It's actually um, the amount of retweets that the tweet about him saying that global warming, global warming was made by the Chinese in order to make U.S. manufacturing. Now, that's something that he said, and he swore less to hold off that he did not say. So that has now been retweeted 94,749 wow. times. Um, some more stats really quick about the debate. Hillary Clinton ended up speaking for 41 minutes. Donald ended up speaking for 44. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're screwed as much as this is going to be a huge election year. 
The Chinese folks, listen up. The Chinese are here. They're taking our jobs. They're like, you know, uh, we have very, okay, very against police judges, okay, folks. And uh, if Hillary gets in there, well, uh, you know, it's going to be even huger, okay? You go, they're going to be more non against police judges, okay? And we can't stand for it, okay? We need law and order in huge walls, okay? <laughs> and the Mexicans, well, listen, okay, we can't have taco trucks on every corner, so they've got to go, okay? Nobody's going to scale the skyscrapers and clean like them, but folks, listen, I tell you, they're rapists and they're killers and, you know, they're Mexicans. Believe me. got to go, folks. <laughs> believe, believe me. I don't lie. I don't lie, folks. Believe me, okay? I know more about foreign policy than the generals. Believe me. I've never been, but I know, okay? It's all huge, 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 okay? As he has declared Chapter 11 bankruptcy for every raggedy piece of company he started and the ones he didn't declare bankruptcy on, he sent them over to China. That's why those raggedy ties that aren't even 100% silk are being made in China and Thailand. I don't want to hear it. Good day. Believe me, you're a woman. Okay, and, but, but nobody has more respect for women but, but me. Okay, it's huge. My respect for women is huge, okay? Better than anybody you've ever seen. Better than Jesus, okay? It's huge, okay? Nobody has it better than me. And I want to tell you, I don't think you say I'd say this, but listen, I'm going to say it. And I hate to say it, but if I win, okay, 